Welcome back to my channel, everyone. I, blah, I don't really know where this video is going to go today. Okay. I have been pretty open here on YouTube and also on Instagram and other social media platforms about the fact that I do struggle with uh, minor depression and anxiety. And at times it can be very discouraging because it can feel like it is taking over your life, taking over your personality, and kind of beating you down a little bit. And it can be really difficult to live day to day with the struggles of mental health. Let me tell you guys, it is so hard. And I wasn't going to film a video today. I didn't really get ready. My hair's kind of blah, but I just really felt like I needed to sit down and talk about this and finally film this kind of video that I've wanted to film for a while, which is that yes, I do struggle with depressive seasons of life. It's kind of how I've chosen to word it. And anxiety. Um, anxiety is almost a daily thing. Depression comes and goes. It's not a daily thing, which I feel very grateful for because it is incredibly hard when it hits. Um, but I want it to be real because I feel like, I feel like there are so many people in this world who feel like they can't say out loud that they struggle. And I, for one, am just like, cut the crap. Like we all struggle. And I have no problem admitting that my mental health can deteriorate. Some days it can be really good, some days it can be crap. Um, that's just my reality, and I'm totally okay with being open about it. I don't really have any stigma about it, um, but I know that there is still stigma out there, sadly. And I want to be open about my story in the hopes that perhaps it can help someone else know that they're not alone, and uh, someone else out there gets it. Gets how difficult it can be on those really hard days. As much as I don't really hold stigma against uh, any mental health uh, struggles there are out there in the world, it's still not easy to admit that you are one of the people who struggles. Um, we all want to be liked, we all want to be seen as strong and independent and self-reliant, and it can be a scary place to be in your life when you don't always feel that way. So one of the things that can often come uh, with depression and anxiety is a feeling of immense purpose, uh, like purposelessness. Is that even a word? Like you're lacking purpose, you're lacking meaning. And that's really how I've been feeling the last couple days. I have just been struggling to feel like I have meaning in my life, to feel like I have purpose. And I think a big part of this too does stem from the fact that I spent quite a few years in my life living in a third world country where my everyday felt so filled with purpose because there was so much need around me and there was always someone to serve and always someone to help and my heart was just like, <laughs> I'm not going to cry, my heart was just always, always there and was always involved in something and I really, really did feel like every morning I woke up there was a purpose. And I've struggled with that, honestly, since I moved back to a first world, Canada. I love it and I'm so grateful to live in a first world, but it is hard when you have lived in a third world. So I've really just been feeling kind of purposeless the last couple days and I've really been trying to find little things to find purpose in. And I have to be totally honest, I, I do feel purpose in some things. I love being a wife. I find purpose in that. Honestly, I love the fact that I am kind of the one who is the homemaker. I love that. Like we're a very traditional marriage in that way where, and it's because I've asked for that in our marriage. Like I do need to say that Rodolfo and I do share responsibilities quite 50, 50. Um, but I do love, I find purpose in being a homemaker. I, the other night really invested time and effort into our dinner and I laid the table all pretty and it just made me feel so good inside and it made Rodolfo really happy and it made him feel very loved. And I love keeping our home like a clean and healthy and happy place and those sorts of things really do help me. So 
I do know that like if you feel purposeless or if you're lacking meaning in your life, try and find meaning in what you have right now. Another thing that I try and do when I feel in these moods is I really try and zone in on the things that I do love doing. So for example, I love making YouTube videos and that's why I'm filming one today because it instantly boosts my mood, instantly makes me feel better. And I really do love having something to work on. I also love photography and so while I do love editing photos, sometimes it can get a little bit repetitive. So in these times, I try and come up with new editing styles and I'm more, I experiment more on the computer and I play around with different ideas. And I also do spend, this is probably like the number one thing that helps, is spending time in prayer and with God and asking him, can you fill my life with purpose? <laughs> because he will. He will send people, he will send opportunities, he will send experiences. They might not be what you thought they should be, but he will send purpose into your life. If you are willing to take on meaning and purpose, I can promise you God will use you. He will use you as his hands to bring purpose to your life, to bring purpose to another person's life, and to just bring more meaning and goodness into this world. And so, I just want you to know that but if you, if the struggle bus is real for you, you're not alone and give yourself time to get out of it. Um, but maybe try focusing on where you can find meaning. Today, it's really just been in like my hobbies and I've been making sure the house is clean and there's just so many different things you can do and it doesn't always have to be something extravagant. But I think it can be really important to find purpose in the mundane because the mundane is like 90% of life. The other 10% is like the fun, the exciting moments, the climax moments, the vacations, the, all these exciting things that happen in life. But we need to learn to find purpose, not just in those big moments or like, yes, my life has meaning, like I'm doing this cool thing. You gotta find purpose and meaning in the mundane, part, mundane parts of life. And that's what I'm really discovering on how to do. So... This video is so random, I don't even know if I'm going to post this, but I really just want to encourage you to don't let discouragement or depression or anxiety knock you down and don't ever let it tell you that you don't have purpose or that you don't have meaning because you freaking do. You have so much meaning. There's a reason you are here. There is a reason you are alive today. I'm trying to snap, but I really can't. Um... Just don't forget you have a purpose, you have a meaning, whether it seems small or insignificant or large and extravagant, you have a purpose to being here today. So I love you. Whoever is watching this, please just know that you are loved. You are so, you are worth so much and just don't ever lose sight of that.